to Taylor Swift. The Taylor effect is real. Travis Kelsey gained almost 900,000 new followers. <laughs> what I said when I said it. You shot your shot, huh, and, man? and you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear. Back at 30 after this from AWS. Here's Taylor Swift and the VIPs who are here watching. A little closer game here tonight. Effect running out. The fact that the Kansas City Chiefs are now experiencing a losing skid is a well-known fact. The team that is led by Andy Reid has suffered two consecutive defeats has been defeated in three of its most recent five games, and even its lucky charm does not appear to be contributing to the club's success. Yes, you read that correctly. The singer Taylor Swift was present in the stands at Arrowhead Stadium on Sunday afternoon when her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, was defeated by the Buffalo Bills by a score of 17 to 20. This was despite the fact that a contentious judgment was made that prevented the Chiefs' tight end from scoring the touchdown that would have won the game. Additionally, Swift was there at Lambeau Field for the Week 13 game that Kansas City played against the Green Bay Packers, which they ultimately lost 19-27 due to a loss. Since the beginning of her relationship with Kelsey, the singer of Shake It Off has had the opportunity to watch six matches in Kansas City. A total of four victories and two defeats can be attributed to those games. Back to Taylor Swift. The Taylor effect is real. Travis Kelsey gained almost 900,000 new followers. Travis Kelsey, raucous introduction here, as always. And then there's the biggest pop star in the world, Taylor Swift. And that's going to wrap it up here with NFL. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Here, uh, he didn't Turner say camp. no, though. Oh, yeah. Travis Kelsey's living the good life. Donna Kelty's living the best life of all. There she is with Taylor Swift again like she was last week. The effectiveness of Taylor Swift. Swift would have a winning percentage of .667 if she were a quarterback or a head coach had she been in those positions. It is possible that the number will not be sufficient to qualify for the postseason, especially considering that there are still four weeks of competition to come. However, it is sufficient to have a winning season. There were as many victories for her beloved Kelsey and the hosts commanded by Reed as there were victories for the first four games of the Grammy winner team. Her first appearance in an Arrowhead suite occurred on September 24 when she was observed cheering on the Kansas City Chiefs, who defeated the Chicago Bears by a score of 41-10, including a touchdown scored by Travis Kelsey. She made the trip to East Rutherford on October 2 in order to witness the Kansas City Chiefs defeat the New York Jets by a score of 23-20 at MetLife Stadium. Travis was out of luck at that particular time. It was on October 12 when Swift witnessed the Chiefs defeat the Denver Broncos by a score of 19-8 at home. Kelsey did not score during the game and his performance did not appear to be the best. The victory came on October 22 when they defeated the Los Angeles Chargers at home by a score of 31-17. Travis scored a touchdown that was dedicated to Taylor during the game. She gave like a light tap on the, gla on the glass and she, she wasn't overly excited about it. Donna was on air in the Super Bowl. Uh. Hey man, I don't... Did you really have your phone number ready hey on a friendship bracelet to give to Taylor I said what I... <laughs> oh. The chief faithful, and I mean all the faithful, are in attendance today. Wow, 12-time Grammy Award winner. It appears that the allure was lost at that point. Swift's subsequent two trips to the boxing ring are the defeats that were described earlier following that successful run. There is no shortage of people who have expressed their opinion that the singer is a distraction for the team, particularly Kelsey. However, it is possible that this information is not accurate. That's Kelsey drawing the interference flag on Kendricks. Sunday show at SoFi is going to be an absolute blast, I'm sure. I went to the one here in Kansas City, so I don't know if I'm double dipping. Having Taylor Swift here, I don't know who jumped higher after a Travis Kelsey touchdown. But you throw the ball, but if you throw it over his head, it's how the Chiefs are taking advantage of some of their weak spots. There's Taylor Swift and the VIPs who are here watching. A little closer game here tonight. Chiefs have lost effectiveness. In spite of the fact that no one has been able to pinpoint a particular reason for this, 
The fact remains that Kansas City's receivers have not had the best year of their careers. One thing that is consistent among players who, despite not being the best, used to execute their job is making mistakes and passing the ball too loosely. It would appear that players like Sky Moore, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Kadarius Tony, and Rashi Rice are suffering from a severe case of butter hands, as they have failed to grab passes that were thrown by quarterback Patrick Mahomes and appeared to be safe catches. However, the offense's lack of execution is starting to take its toll, which is a problem because the defense has been carrying the weight of the club. They have their work cut out for them if they want to boost the squad and get it back to at least the postseason regardless of whether or not the so-called Swift effect exists. Reed and Mahomes have a lot of work to do. The topic of discussion will shift later to either a new arrival or a fresh victory in the Super Bowl. She's here. Taylor is in the house. <laughs> and you want to hear more about that, and I'm not going to give you anything. Has she reached out? Huh? Has she reached out? <laughs> I mean, I think, I think the secret's out. I think we can... Uh play matchmaker and uh, put put the rumors back at 30 after this from a WS she's at SoFi you're off on Sunday I look you can make I, it I'll tell to you SoFi what, even anybody Saturday night Taylor Swift's and Travis Kelsey's relationship since September when they went to their first Kansas City Chiefs game together Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey have been changing the fashion and sports worlds. Since his last high point, 70% more people are searching for Kelsey's name on Google, and the number of people who follow him on social media has grown from 1.1 million to 4.4 million. Due to Kelsey's rising popularity for his team, the Chiefs, sales of his number 87 jersey have supposedly gone up by 400% across the Fanatics network of websites. The number of sales on the ticket marketplace StubHub for Chiefs home games increased three times in 24 hours compared to the previous few days. Also, the number of internet searches for the team increased three times in one day. Fashion professionals like the couple's online name, Trailer, and J. Logan Holmes' website traffic has grown by 65% as a result. Swift asked NFL commentator and creator of Where by Aaron Andrews for a Chiefs cagoule so she could wear it to one of the team's games. This season, a lot more women are watching the NFL. Kelsey's podcast New Heights was number one on Apple's charts. On October 1, the New York Jets game against the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday Night Football had the most viewers of any Sunday show since Fox's Super Bowl in February. The Taylor Swift effect is an interesting phenomenon that has helped both Swift and Kelsey's careers soar to new heights. As a result, they work together in areas outside of their actual jobs. Ninety-five percent of the time, I'm planning it, but there are some times when they're like, "The math," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" The math. Then when you hear the fans singing the song. It's really got my heart expanding. And what I said when I said it. Shot to shot, and, huh? And man? you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear. A former NFL quarterback named Travis Kelsey's career changed a lot because of the Taylor Swift effect. This effect refers to how much Taylor Swift's appearance and association with Kelsey have changed his career. Kelsey gained over 300,000 social media fans in just one day which shows how much attention their relationship has gotten. Because of his sudden fame, sales of merchandise went up by 400%. Kelsey's jersey quickly became one of the five best-selling NFL jerseys. Kelsey showed off his skills in a recent game at Arrowhead Stadium by making seven catches for 69 yards and getting a touchdown from three yards out. With 24.3 million viewers, it was the most watched football game over the weekend, especially among women ages 12 to 17 and 18 to 49. As soon as Swift and Kelsey showed up together, there was a huge desire for Kelsey's jersey. According to Fanatics, sales went up by almost 400%. In addition to Kelsey's success on the field and jersey sales, the Taylor Swift effect also showed up online. In just one week, over 250,000 new people followed Kelsey on Instagram, which is a huge jump. There is a long-lasting and fascinating connection between sports and celebrity culture.
And this story is a great example of how strong people from the sports and entertainment worlds can be when they get together. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.